Um, hey everybody, it's Chris and Tony back with another Tiger Socks review for the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. I can't stop. <laughs> there we go. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the 120 minute IPA from Dogfish Head. We're going to be doing both the 2015 batch and the 2016 batch that Tony secured. Now the 2015 batch I actually got uh, by winning a contest with um, Top Shelf Wine and Spirits here in Las Vegas. They're over at Fort Apache in Warm Springs. They got a great beer selection. Well, actually, I'd say one of the best beer selections in town. Stuff that I can't find at uh, Total Wine and um, and Lee's, I can usually find over at uh, Top Shelf. But uh, they had a contest, win a beer for a dollar, and it was a bottle aged uh, 2015 of the 120 IPA. And I will now let Tony tell his story of getting to the 2016 IPA. Uh, 120. It would have been easier to get the Holy Grail, though. Well, um. <laughs> What can I say? I mean, I was really checking Dogfish's website daily, and I don't—I'm not exaggerating. Daily, I was checking this site, and uh, you know, because they have a beer finder on there, you type in your zip code and all that. And uh, day after day after day, nothing. And we were told initially early May mm -hmm. that never happened. That's what I heard. And then I, th I just about gave up. I'm just like, we're just not going to get it. Nevada's going to get skipped, or Vegas is going to get skipped. But then I stuck through it and went, to, you know, kept checking the website, and then eventually. Two stores popped up. Four stores popped up. I haven't checked it since I bought the bottle, which was about a week ago now. And I wouldn't be surprised if by now Sin City They're is gone. completely out. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean these places had anywhere. these places had limits of uh, one store had a limit of four you could buy and couldn't get more than that, and then another store had a limit of two. So this beer has become almost <laughs> almost like Elvis. It's just like this mystery. Like, am I going to find it or not? You know, it's just. It was a, a pain in the butt to find it, but we tracked it down. It's a yeah. little expensive. I mean, $9.99, 10, 10 bucks basically for a bottle. It's, it's, a, it's a strange <laughs> offset because uh, if you spent $9.99 for one bottle, I spent a penny for the other. So yeah, we got two bottles for 10 bucks. So. I had to uh, earn mine. Actually, I had to pay a little bit more <laughs> because um, in order to keep up Uncle Sam off your back, Top Shelf does charge you tax on the bottle. So they got paid like yeah. uh, 23 cents for it. But, um, you know, I mean, 23 cents for a beer of this quality. I have myself exactly. never had the 120 IPA. I've had yeah. 60 and 90, and Tony's had not only the 120, but some, like a I've 51 the, or I've something. I've had the 61 minute, 61? which is basically the same as the 60 minute, except it had some great um, things to add to it. 75 minute, which is in the, I want to say a 22 ounce bottle. Um, I've had that, and then of course the 90, and then the 120. Um, this will be only the second 120 minute of this year that I've had, and you've never had it at all. Never had it at all. So you're in for a hop experience like no other. <laughs> you know, it just occurred to me too, this will it's, actually be the second uh, dogfish in the Tiger Sox series, because we did the Squall IPA for it. So, yeah. We love you, dogfish. We keep coming back to you. Working our way back to you. So we're going to, <laughs> we're going to try uh, both of them. We're going to do a compare and contrast. We have two tastings to do in, in 12 minutes, so, so uh, pardon us if we're a little we'll hasty. Here. We, oh, okay. We're, we've still got... Uh, yeah, 12, all right, it's two minutes, 12 minutes, so, so we have to, uh, for your see. pleasure, viewing pleasure. And We're going to use the Pop the Top uh, yeah. opener from Taza Designs, and make sure the cap does not, in fact, end up on the mouse pad, so that we, uh... There's your lid. Sorry, a little shark inside of it. Good mint condition for all those uh, cap nuts out there. Yeah. Here's the label itself, we didn't really get it too close in the first time. There's your dogfish head, 120 minutes. And just so you know, from even at this Delaware. distance, I am smelling some serious alcohol coming off this. Oh, yeah. Real serious alcohol. This, this isn't a joke. This IPA, like I said, I've had it before. This IPA will knock you on your butt. It is, you might as well, it's, it's basically like having a salad in a bowl of nothing but hops and just. You know, this doesn't even have an ABV <laughs> on it that I see. I'm really. Really? It does indicate that it ages well, but at least the 2015 does not have an ABV load. Yeah, it doesn't say, uh, it doesn't give you IBUs, and it doesn't give you the ABV either. Kind of interesting, but I do know that it, it's... Funny you said Holy Grail, did you? <laughs> it actually says, really? what you have here is the Holy Grail for hop heads. This beer is continually hopped That's over weird. 120 like, really? oil and dry hopped over a month, enjoying now, or aged for a decade or so. So, yeah, it does that age well. That was just a strange coincidence. I did not know that that was on the label. And, uh... You can like smell the, it from uh, right here. Oh, yeah you, yeah, you can definitely smell the alcohol. Are we opening the other one? Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, we have a lot for you. Let's, let's talk about here. Hopefully there's no... Okay, we'll go to that. I actually... 
But we're going to do the the aged one first, correct? Well, you know, it's or the new one. Honestly, it's it's. Uh, I figure, you know, taste one, taste the other, and then each of us can decide. Look at that color for an IPA, everybody. That's just... There's that color for a, a one-year-old like IPA. Color. So it really is the color of rust, not obviously. And at least better. at least here, it looks like yeah, I would say that the older one is a little bit lighter than uh, the newer one. Like yeah, I know yeah. you're closer to the sunlight mm -hmm. than I am. That, yeah, but, uh, that could be too. But yeah, it's whoop, hello. Howdy. Look at me uh, making this as speak. Look, Mom. Look how murky that is. You see these it last? It truly is. Oh, when yeah. you pour the last I'm of it here, it's soupy. I mean, yeah. It's very soupy. I mean, that's, yeah, the sediment at the bottom is crazy. I mean, that's, it comes out completely different from the bottom, or the top half of the bottle and the bottom half of the bottle are crazy just, different uh, colors. Just bouquet comparison. I, honestly, all I can get off of this is alcohol. Oh, my God. I don't smell any hop at all. I just smell alcohol. The aged one? Uh -huh. yeah, this yeah. is the aged one, which is one-year-old aged. It's almost... Now, this, I'm getting some vanilla notes, the, the, this year's batch. Um, getting some vanilla notes. Some, Everything's uh, a lot more subtle, that's for sure. I do wonder if um, the temperature may have some bearing on this, too. That's the other thing, too, is the, the uh, aged is room temperature. And uh, very, very different colors. Tony has called. Yeah. Well, I didn't mention that before, and I think now I did. But anyway... So, uh, it's so fragrant. I mean, it, it, like I said, if you're an IPA fan, first of all, good luck finding the beer. And if you don't find it this year, it will be available next year. Um, they only make it, I think, once a year. Anyway. Yeah, I think it's a year. And, um, but if you're an IPA fan, this beer, you have to experience this beer because it'll be, it'll set the bar at a different level for you. I promise you that. Yeah, I've been thinking about this and I haven't really decided. I'm wondering if, maybe I'm going to try the new batch and then see how... I think, I think I'm going to do, do new. I'm going to do new do first. New. I'm going to do this year's batch. Because this will be a little more tame compared mm -hmm. to that. And I want to see what bottle conditioning. It's it's a good comparison then to see how the bottle conditioning changes it. That almost looks like iced tea, like cloudy iced tea. It really does. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Or like uh, when you For get like the Arnold Palmer in a, in, a, yeah. exactly. in a bottle. I mean, hops, no. hops, crazy hops, vanilla, um, almost like maple. And there's still plenty of alcohol coming off of this. Too, oh, absolutely. I mean. The smell of alcohol. This almost, Holy if, crap. I would say if they, if somebody say uh, um, barrel aged their scotch in a vanilla barrel, yeah, that's, that's good, what this would smell like. That's a very good comparison. That's a fair comparison. Alrighty. Down the hatch. Cheers. Good luck to your main voyage on the 120 <laughs> minute. I'm looking forward to his reaction in the camera. I'm going to watch him actually. Oh man. <laughs> that's a good beer. This is a meal, everybody. It really is. <laughs> Did the, uh, I didn't look crazy. Didn't catch did the uh, 2016 have the ABV on it? No, it did not. Oh, okay. It did not. But um, obviously, you're getting just insane amount of hops, 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 hops. I'm also getting um, like raisin. I am. Kind of a yeah, raisin. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's, it's a, um, there's a raisin. There's um, mm -hmm. It has, I'd say, probably a medium high mouthfeel. Uh, sure. Just a little bit of spikiness. Enough spikiness that it's more than average, but not. Uh, this is our stone glass, by the way. I like showing that off. <laughs> Big fan of stone. Put your dogfish in a stone, everybody. Exactly. Man, this is just, I mean, it's intense. You have mm -hmm. to be in the mood to drink this beer and, and, and accept <laughs> the richness and the effects because it's going to, it's profound. I mean, yeah, it's, and this is... Uh, IPA drinkers. <laughs> well, you know... <laughs> the weak IPA drinkers <laughs> will hate this beer. One night on my way to... Um, uh, watch the Sim City Roller Girls practice. I picked up a four pack of the 90 minute, um, and I was unaware of just how rich it could be. I'd say honestly, the 90 is more rich than this. This is this this is still rich, but I mean in terms of just sheer richness, the 90 to me, I felt like I was drinking a stick of butter. <laughs> uh, I drank the first one kind of quickly because we it was don't warm recommend out. that to you. Uh, I drank, started to drink the second one, and went, "Whoa, what's happening here?" I mean, yeah. my stomach was just going, "Hey, fatso, you can't handle all of this." <laughs> hey, fatso, <laughs> the self-deprecating so Chris rich, Roush, it, it, was, it was honestly like drinking a, a stick of butter. It was so rich. That's what I mean. That's why you may have noticed in past reviews, I very seldom put the glass down. I'm usually holding it, looking, swirling. Mm -hmm. This is a little too much. For the time of day, I'm not going to say what time of day it is right now, but uh, but this it's I have to put this beer down, and this beer. give it a second, and then come back and take more of it. It's fantastic, but oh my god, it's a chore to drink it. It is amazing. Don't get me wrong; I'm not criticizing the beer at all. In fact, I'm doing the opposite. 
if you like IPAs and you like a challenge and you want to see what extreme IPAs can do, here's your beer. Yep. Um, if you are faint of heart with IPAs, you kind of like your 50 to 60 IBUs. This is not the avoid beer this beer. beer. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, it's not that this is even overly bitter. It's not you overly know, like bitter. It, oftentimes with the IBUs, it's just yeah. It's so. Well, it's rich. It really is rich. It's uh, it's rich. It's like caramely in your mouth. Um, it's almost like if you were to take vanilla extract in a little black brown bottle. Yeah. And take. It I really mean, is. You're I've done that before. Right. I'm because a dare. Uh, don't ever do that. Because of that alcohol smell and the vanilla smell and the texture. Um, even just now, the burn. I, in the back of my throat, I still got the slightest bit of burn. Yeah. Still left oh yeah. Room. My stomach's and actually it's like. Been <laughs> maybe a full minute since I had a last sip. So let's jump into the next one here before yes, time indeed. runs out. Yes, indeed. We've got about four minutes. To enjoy with you here. Um, so this yeah. was this was the 2015. Just yeah. I'm sorry, this was the 2016. Yeah. The, new batch. the one I just bought. This was the new batch. Now we're gonna go try the uh, 2015, the aged one. This I actually think this one's gonna be more intense than the last one. It may well be. Although that the fragrance is may, uh... now that it's been breathing, it's kind of tapered off a little mm -hmm. bit. So. Oh, cheers! Cheers! Cheers to you. Plus, this is a little warmer. Mine came out of the fridge, and his is a little warmer. Mm. <clears throat> I still think I think the 2016 is stronger. Yeah. Yeah. I, the right. 20... Despite the fact that the 2015 smells stronger, the 2016 actually is stronger. This this is a lot more mellow. This is more like. Um... And this one, I'd say, I'm actually you do pick up the hops more than you do the oh, riches. Yeah. 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 Still extremely rich. I mean. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Both these beers on top of each other, it's a chore. It's a challenge to do this. And maybe because of the temperature, but I'm noticing that the bottle aged retains the head. Exactly. Uh, better yeah. Than the, uh, yeah, the head's pretty much gone on the uh, new one. And then his still has, I mean, mine's of course, still I'm the but, his but I was swirling this one too, and it doesn't have the head that got me to do that. Look how it clings to the glass there. That's very impressive. It's got some real legs on it, that's for sure. So, yeah, this one, still bitter. <sighs> Not as bitter as mm -hmm. you know you would expect like an imperial IPA to be. You're not getting the hot bomb. That's what's kind of weird. I mean, this is an IPA with so so much complexity to it. It's not a hot bomb. I don't know if they age it in barrels or not, but it sure has that woody, oaky smell like it. Oh, for sure. And I actually just thought it's because you let it you know age for a year that it's developed. It's clearly two different flavors. Um, yeah. I would say the 2015 here in our hand right now mm -hmm. is a. Uh, a little tamer than the yeah it is than the 2016 somehow. I, I think I like the mellow. Uh, I think I like the mellow in this a little better. I think um, yeah. in the future I may, but you know, next year when I pick up a 2017 <laughs> batch, I may hang on to it till 2018, 2019. Yeah. See, I batch. have a hard time doing that because I get a hold, especially beer like this that you know is so <laughs> limited and rare. I mean, it's like finding the golden ticket, like I was talking about earlier. And you all did. I'm I mean, eager to drink it. I just don't want to sit on Instagram that. Instagram showed. I mean, <laughs> the minute everybody out there was getting their bottle, they were cracking it open. And yeah. and show. so, obviously, people are – there may be some, some – I'm sure some of you out there are, are uh, bottle conditioning. Uh, you're at 120, but not too many. It There's, says age as well. I'm not really kidding. The glare is kind of annoying. Right about there, it says age as well. And, yes, it does because of its richness. It develops – you know, woody, like you said, oaky. It's, uh, I don't want to go so far as to say it tastes like cognac, but it does have that almost, um, where, where, where spirits and wine start to blur, that sort of cognac, brandy, port, yeah. sherry sort of, exactly. you know, saying where you the can't potency. quite know what you're dealing with a fortified wine or an outright uh, right. spirit. Um, the potency of the spirit definitely lends itself to a cognac family, kind of, you, know, you, you would classify it in that group. Not to say it, it doesn't taste like cognac, but I mean, it really does have the richness, uh, fragrance, and, and it lingers, man. I mean, this, you could smell this beer or taste this beer, and you will actually recall it later okay, on. we got 45 seconds yes, before this thing shuts off on us. We have to finish and we, these. Uh, wanna we're busy. Wish you well, and cheers. Give us a minute. And uh, <laughs> happy drinking. Enjoy good beer. Enjoy good beer. Enjoy good beer. Thanks, guys.